Old anime is an absolute blast, and not only has a lot of it gone unlicensed out of Japan, there's a ton of it that still isn't even subtitled. While fans have often subbed anime themselves in the past, it's a lot of work that goes unpaid and under the radar, leading to a pretty sharp decline in recent years. The good news is that fan subbing is still alive. One of the most high profile, unsubbed anime out there, The Adventures of Ganba, is finally getting a dedicated fan sub by the newly formed Senritsu subs, and I've made the impulsive decision to cover it week to week. Just like those episodic anime reviewers. Only this is for a show that came out 40 years ago. Just so I can signal boost it and give it some well-deserved attention. Links to everything are down in the description. And with that all out of the way, let's talk about episode one. All right, so I'm not going to summarize it for you because that's dumb. But let me just talk firstly about the presentation of this show. I've never seen a 1975 anime, but I've seen 1970 and I've seen 1979. And this is on the higher end of those of those shows. This looks so good. And the render is exquisitely done by Senritsu. And the translation was very well done too. Everything by Senritsu is top notch. Very well done on the first episode here. The art, first of all, oh my gosh, uh, it is designed by Shinichiro Kobayashi and also has background art by Kazuo Oga. Both of them worked on Ie Nakiko, which I'm watching right now and is literally scenery porn. And this is kind of no different. This just every shot of this looks so good. And it isn't just the backgrounds. The animation is super stretchy and f not really fluid so much as it is like expressive and bombastic. I, th I don't know if Kanada worked on this, but it seems like something he would have probably had some involvement in. Although there are some incredibly nice cuts here, some nice fluid Sakuga moments that are really impressive for 1975. But just in general, it's a joy to watch. The colors are so bright. The palette is, is really uh, juicy and great. And I, I love the art behind this. And it's, it isn't just the visuals, the music, is good <laughs> is also good takeo yamashita who is the composer also he also did loop on the third part one and if you've ever listened to that soundtrack it's very uh <laughs> the band is a nice man it's very uh <laughs> funny but also good it's it's really solid but he's cool he's a fun guy and the op and eds are, are really good and surprisingly some of the characters have some singing moments in this it's not like a musical but there's a few characters that sing and uh i don't know it, it just had a really nice it added a good deal it, it felt really cultural i guess it, it, of the time and it felt really good i really liked the the singing in this one thing i want to point out is this this is back when they would use the instrumentals of the op or the ed in the episode this is like what ashino joe used to do it's what a lot of older shows would do and like because the theme song was written just for them just for the show and it would be a recurring theme and it would, it's just great i love it and not only is the music good the voice acting is really something uh there aren't a whole lot of high profile talent on this the two names that you'll probably know one of them is the main character ganba's voice he is voiced by masako nozawa who is literally the voice of Goku. And it's a very young, you know, this is back way before she did uh, Goku back in 75. So it's a really early, really early Nozawa and it's ex she's excellent in this role. And then the other one, you will not recognize him at all. But uh, the character of Gakusha, who is, I'm, I'm referring to him as Glasses Kun, Swirly Glasses Kun, uh, is voiced by Kei Tomoyama, who is Yang Wenli later on. <laughs> Uh, yeah <laughs> and you will and you will probably not really recognize i didn't i didn't catch on it at first but everything everybody else i don't really know that the voice i didn't really know any of their any other roles that they did but all of them were a very solid performance it's all adults you know this is back with again with old anime all of the voice actors are adults and I don't know, there's just something, you get a different experience of that instead of all of them being 20-somethings. Very overreacted, but controlled and like powerful. I, I don't know, I, I loved all the, uh, I love the voice performances in this as well. So let's talk about the plot and, and generally what the story's about. Uh, so it's an adventure series, the Adventures of Gaba, I would I would hope so. But what's great about it is it's so fast paced. The dialogue is, is really snappy and they get on the adventure like by the end of the first episode, we are on the boat, we are on 
the on the journey ready to go to this thing and the stakes are already ramped up pretty high we see some one of the characters bleeding and this is portrayed pretty dramatically and so i'm like oh my gosh is there gonna be death in this show i kind of hope there's death in this show not not that i hate any of the characters but i i really i love the stakes already already set here and the bad guy is this giant white weasel and he's terrifying. It's it's it. The way they present him is is uh, so brief, but so potently potent and effective. I couldn't I couldn't believe it. it. It's a very well established bad guy. We haven't even met him yet, really. And all the characters are very simple. Like they have very simple character traits. And I'm not gonna say they're all likable or anything, but that's not the first thing I think of. But they're easy to get, I and mean, none of them are very forgettable or annoying. I think. And the best thing is that all of them are literally introduced in the first episode, pretty much in some form or another. Uh, some more than others, but you get pretty much everybody here, and I really liked that, especially because I ended up I had seen Takarajima before watching this show, and that came out a few years later and had pretty much the same staff, Dezaki and um, Kobayashi and whatnot, had a similar protagonist and an adventure on a, on a boat, you know, going to an island. It's kind of the same thing. Um, but they get on that boat way, way, way quicker uh, in this show. They get on the boat episode one and in Takarajima, they're not on it until like episode six. I'm already really really liking it it's very fast it's it's energetic if you like expressive animation and if you like screen capping all the fun moments it's a gold mine it is an absolute gold mine it's so cool that we're watching it kind of like a seasonal anime right now because it's being subbed every episode uh again all credit going to senritsu subs please support them i don't know if there's any way to monetarily support them i don't think they have that available yet they're doing it completely voluntarily and like just being pure champion about it they're they're the real 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 mvps of course but it's so cool that we're watching this kind of like a seasonal anime uh right now but it's being it's directed by osamu dezaki with art by shinichiro kobayashi did 40 years old and it oh it but it's airing right now basically but i hope you guys enjoyed this please watch episode one i hope you guys uh follow along with me and hope you enjoy f future installments of me talking about it hope you enjoy me talking about it i hope i'm not boringly chibi or anything hey no offense chibi you're doing the grind keep doing what you're doing you, you make this way you make this look easy this is not easy for me <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much you have a good you have a good week peace okay so i'm really rusty at this i don't know how chibi does this man it, this is some shit this is the true shit but gonbo really wants to be out in the sea and really wants to have some some kind of adventure uh and bobo's uh, is his friend is his fat friend uh who is fat i guess <laughs> oh man this is terrible let me let me let me back up let me back up please stop the recording